From the Liberty Bowl in Memphis, Tennessee, Sports 3 presents the Ole Miss Rebels against the Memphis State Tigers. Brought to you tonight by Miller Beer. Football time is Miller time. Buy your one big happy family at the Furniture Center. Buy ponchos. Spice up your life with ponchos. And by the Memphis Publishing Company, publishers of the Commercial Appeal and the Memphis Press Cemeter. The Liberty Bowl will be filled to the brim tonight in the 35th renewal of one of the greatest rivalries here in the South. Hello, everyone. I'm Tom Stalker along with Bill Todd. It started back in 1921 when the University of Mississippi played a team from a small school then known as West Tennessee Normal. Bill, the score was lopsided back then, I think, 82 to nothing. In fact, a series is lopsided. Memphis State has won but four games in the series, but it still continues to be a great series. It's a great series for both schools, Tom. 27-4-1, uh, and one, I think, is the breakdown in the series. Memphis State's won four, but uh, they've been in the late years. Uh, it's a good series for both schools. Uh, Ole Miss down the road knows they're coming to Memphis, know they're going to play a, to a sellout crowd. Uh, They've stayed with the Tigers. They're good for the Tigers. They've stayed with them during the growing years and the developing into a, a Division I football program. And it's, it's a great rivalry, good schools. Uh, the staffs on both uh, areas are just outstanding. And so it's going to be a good night. One of the big reasons why everybody is fired up about this ball game is the fact that the Ole Miss Rebels, for the first time since 1972, are 2-0. And the Memphis State Tigers, under first-year coach Rex Dockery, have turned in two strong performances against nationally ranked opponents. Let's take a look at the team's action so far this year. Two weeks ago in the Superdome, the Rebels trailed Tulane 18-12, just over two minutes left. Sophomore Kelly Powell came in and engineered a 96-yard drive. Camping that drive, this super catch by flanker Breck Tyler that gave the Rebels a thrilling 19-18 come-from-behind win. One week later in Columbia, South Carolina, the Rebels trailed 13-3 in the fourth quarter when John Forcade came off the bench and threw to Michael Harmon. That cut at the 13-10. Then Malvin Gibson weaved his way in for a 26-yard touchdown, and the Rebels brought back a 20-13 win and a 2-0 start. Memphis State opened its season against nationally ranked Mississippi State. A mismatch, everyone called it. The Tigers may have lost it 20-3, but they gained a lot of respect, bottling up the potent Bulldog offense for just 237 yards in total offense and allowing just three points in the entire second half. The following week, another nationally ranked team, Florida State, and again the Tiger defense took the spotlight. That sack of Rick Stockstill set the pace for a defensive battle, but the Seminoles escaped with a 10-5 win. Another so-called moral victory, but now the Tigers want a real one. The Memphis State Tigers feel that they have a great chance for a victory tonight after those two performances, while the Ole Miss Rebels, Bill, are out to prove that, hey, that's no fluke, the fact that they are 2-0 and this year. That's what makes going to make it a great ball game. Best start for Ole Miss is 72. Uh, they are very proud of getting off the, the block uh, on the winning side. The Tigers are very enthusiastic. Down in the, in the tunnel before the ball game, the coaching staff feel that they are, are really, kids are up and really ready to play football. Uh, it's going to be a good one, and, and Memphis State, you know, we got to score. We got to put some points on the board. The second thing we got to do is contain John Forcade. We do that. Could be a good ball game for Memphis State. Uh, John Forcade is the good football player, maybe the best quarterback in the country. Of course, one of the many sidelines about this ball game is the fact is about the two head coaches. Back uh, many years ago, Rex Dockery and Steve Sloan were on the same high school team in Cleveland, Tennessee. They went on to the University of Tennessee. They were on assist. They were assistant coaches on the same staffs at several universities. Uh, uh, Steve was a head coach at Vanderbilt. Rex was the assistant there. Steve went on to Texas Tech. Rex followed them there. But for the first time in their professional coaching careers, Rex Dockery and Steve Sloan are going to be coaching head-to-head. -head. They are two very great friends. We took a chance to uh, talk with both coaches before the game. Let's visit now with Tiger coach Rex Dockery. Coach Dockery, your first home game. How do you feel? Well, I'm excited uh, about getting started. To be honest with you, Tom, it's a beautiful place. and. Uh, I think uh, both teams are going to play hard tonight, and uh, that's what college football is about, a great rivalry and a chance to uh, play in a game like this. You're going up the barrel of a very potent Ole Miss offense led by John Forcade. No question about it. I think not just John Forcade, but I think their whole offensive team does a great job, and uh, probably the biggest improvements their defensive football team. They've uh, been able to prevent people from having long drives, the big plays, the nobody can run, no, nobody yet has been able to move the ball on the ground, and that's what you've got to have to be a good defensive team. Offensively, the Tigers are going to try to find the end zone this week. Greg Sanders starting at quarterback again? That's right. He'll be the starter, and uh, 
he seems to be over his injury, and uh, Darrell Martin to back him up, and uh, I'm hoping they'll get the job done. They've uh, looked pretty good in the practice this week. Any other changes on offense, perhaps in the backfield? Andy Dixon started tackle, a freshman. Uh, uh, we lost Rick Heckinger last week, so he'll start force at tackle. And uh, Tony Wiley and Mike Dion want to be playing fullback. They'll be alternating about half and half, and Carl Harrison's going to start at tailback. Good luck, Coach. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. The Ole Miss Rebels firmly believe, Bill, that this is the year. They really think that down the road, there's going to be a bowl trip uh, for the Ole Miss Rebels, and I don't see why not. That's right. They've got it going. They're doing real well right now, and, and they've, they've come from behind two ball games, and, and that's, that's a mark of a good football team. They're down fourth quarter. Both games they've played came from behind, jumped in there, and they've got a right to believe this will be a big game for them tonight. Let's visit now with Rebel head coach Steve Sloan. Here you go, coach, against the Memphis State Tigers. Your thoughts about the game? Well, Tom, I like to say, I, I feel like it's a, a great series. I'm real proud for both schools that, that we can have such a crowd and have so much enthusiasm and spirit and so much uh, camaraderie among the coaching staff and uh, rivalry among the players. And it's a good situation. It's only sad that one of us has to lose. <laughs> You're going to be looking right into the barrel of what's become a very tough Memphis State defense. Well, they've done a magnificent job. Uh, that's an understatement, really. They've done a terrific job against two good teams, uh, playing on effort and enthusiasm and spirit and blitzed a lot and be interesting to see how the blitz affects our team. John Forcade will start his first game of the season tonight. First time he started this year, uh, Tom, he's uh, not completely well, but a lot more so than he has been the last two weeks. Could be another game for the cardiac kids, though. You've done it twice this year. Well, we've been very fortunate in the first two games, Tom, uh, coming behind in the fourth quarter. And we've got some big play people that have made some, some real outstanding plays for us. And I don't know if we can keep doing it e each week or not. Coach, best of luck. Thank you, Tom. And so the stage is set for the 35th meeting in the series between the Memphis State Tigers and the Ole Miss Rebels. We'll be ready for the kickoff in just a moment. Furniture Center's 33rd anniversary sale for store-wide savings of 10 to 50 percent. Save $250 on the introduction of Huntley's Luminations, eight-piece dining room set by Thomasville, with cane-back chairs and lighted china cabinet. Save $150 on the new Huntley Luminations king-size bedroom group, a great introductory value. Comparable savings on other brand-name bedroom and dining room groups. The Furniture Center's anniversary sale from your one big happy family for 33 years. your favorite high school team doing? Where are the best places to go fishing or hunting? We tell you in the sports pages of the press Presseometer, read them. Half the Liberty Bowl is bathed in red, the other half is bathed in blue. It can only mean the Memphis State Tigers against the Ole Miss Rebels. 35th renewal of this great series. Memphis State under brand new coach Rex Dockery, 0-2, looking for their first win. While the Ole Miss Rebels, for the first time in nine years, are 2-0, trying to make it 3-0. Bill, we talked a lot about a ball game earlier. One of the big factors, I think, is can the Memphis State offense get in gear and get some touchdowns? If they can't, it could be a long night for the uh, Tigers. Uh, that's true, Tommy. They've got to score some points, got to put points on the board, talking to Rex for the ball game. And, of course, that's vital in their mind, is trying to score and then trying to contain, as we said in the uh, pregame is to contain John 4K, keep him from, from hurting us bad because he can do it. He does three things well, as we said. He runs, he passes, and then he runs and passes. And, and those uh, things that he does, but our defense has done well. We've gone against uh, two pretty good quarterbacks and John Bond and Rick Stockstill and, and has done well there. 
The Memphis State Tigers have won the toss. They're going to receive and defend the goal down to your left. Ole Miss will kick it off, defend the goal down to your right. Over 50,000 in the Liberty Bowl. Memphis State against Ole Miss ought to be a dandy. The officials in tonight's ballgame, the referee is Joe Hicks, the umpire Burton Williams, the linesman Robert Gleason, line judge Ed Dudley, field judge is John Fleming, the back judge is Lewis Richard, and that's the officiating crew for the ballgame. The other thing is, uh, Bill, can the Rebel uh, offense keep the Tiger defense on the field a long time tonight? Physical well, fitness has got to be a factor. That's true, and of course, the, t the Tigers have played well in the second half in the two previous games, Tommy, and I think that'll be a factor. Of course, Ole Miss, is, their scoring uh, quarter has been the fourth quarter in the two previous games. They scored 24 points there, and so it, it's going to be a test of, of who can control the play of the game. Uh, Well, obviously, they say the most important part of a football game, Bill, is the first five minutes of the first quarter and the first five minutes of the third quarter. Let's take a look and see what unfolds. The Tigers will have the football first. Getting ready to kick it off. Will be number 90, Todd Gatlin. Wind at the time of the kickoff right now, looking at the flags, looks to be a bit of a crosswind from the near side of the field across to the far side, but it's... Uh, down on the bottom of this place, it could be any, it could coming from anywhere because it uh, does funny things here in the Liberty Bowl. Back deep to receive in the middle. That's the primary receiver. That is Derek Crawford out of Memphis East High School. There you see him in the middle. His longest kickoff return, 22 yards. And he's waiting on his own five. Ready to start. Game number 35 in the series, the historic series between Memphis State and Ole Miss. Todd Gatlin is in the boot of the way, and Crawford has it back at the four. Across the 20, he's got the win. 35 40, dragged down at the 45 yard line. On the tackle, Melvin Brown for Ole Miss, and right off the bat, Bill Todd, take a look at the field position the Memphis State Tigers have got. Derek Crawford right across the street, East High School, just almost broke that one all the way. Picked it up as a low, quick kick. It got to him in a hurry. He picked it up, uh, broke his left. The wall just broke, and he went, looked like he was going to get it. 21 put him down from behind. So the Tigers are going to take it over first and 10 at their own 44-yard line. Again, a quarterback is Greg Sanders. The fullback is number 30, Mike Dion. The give is to the tailback, Carl Harrison, 25. First man to meet him is 84, James Otis. He gets up to the 47-yard line, a gain of three. Take a look now, the Memphis State offense. First alignment, Andy Dixon at one tackle. The guards, Doug Gleason and Tom Dorian. Center, Ken DeFeo. The other tackle is Chuck Karka. Second down, make it eight. From the Tiger, 47. Pitch back. This is Mike Dion in the Ole Miss territory, still going, and brought out inside the 30-yard line at the 27-yard line. Mike Dion. And you can see how fired up the former star from Christian Brothers High School is. Take a look at this one again, Bill. What an exciting run. Great run. Not, not known for his blazing speed, but he did a great job there. Greg Sanders optioned out, came out, made the pitch. Uh, the linebacker on the side went in for the pitch man, or uh, the first man through, and, and Dion just broke it, almost got all the way. Gain of 24 yards on the carry. It's first and 10, Memphis State at its own, at the Memphis, at the Ole Miss 29. Derek Sanders doesn't like what he sees defensively. He calls a timeout. There is timeout on the field with 13.57 remaining in the first quarter. The score, Memphis State nothing, and Ole Miss nothing. Prep sports scores, we had them first in the commercial appeal. And we have more of them. Read the scoreboard daily. Besides, it's just about Miller time. It's about that time. It's about that time. I'm going back. Sun's about to set. It's time for the fire to build a make it yet. When it's time to relax. One minute that's clear. You got the time. We love you. Here we go. 
Tigers have it first and 10. Ole Miss 29 yard line. Greg Sanders gives to the first man through. That is number 20, Tony Wiley. Kenny Hooper, 38, the fullback, the first man to him. Tony Wiley will be alternating at fullback with number 30, Mike Dion, who had that big gain a little while ago. And also in there with number five, Anthony Parker. That's one thing the Tigers have got going for them, a host of, of good running backs. Take a look right now. The Tiger offensive backfield, the way it's set up. Tony Wiley at fullback, Carl Harrison, the tailback. Quarterback, second game starting for the Tigers is Greg Sanders. Second and five to give this to Harrison. He can't find any room off the left side. James Otis, 84, and wide side linebacker Thomas Hubbard, 37. The two Rebels up there to make the stop. Tom Hubbard's their leading tackler uh, in the first two ball games. And, of course, James Otis uh, picked to be one of the best defensive ends in the conference. Spot the ball at the Rebel 23-yard line after the gain of one yard. Here is uh, early key play for the Tigers, third and four. The give is to Harrison, 25. He is shy of the first down. Brian Kennedy, 66, the first Rebel to get to him. It doesn't look like they have enough for the first down. That field goal team is in. Checking in will be number seven, Ken House. Ken House will be the field goal kicker. He sets the tee down at the 29-yard line of Ole Miss. It'll be a 39-yarder. Kenny House kicked the field goal through down at Florida State last week. It's up on its way. No good. Missed it wide to the left side. And so the Tigers go to the well first. They come up dry. With 12-10 to go in the first quarter, the score, Memphis State nothing, Ole Miss nothing. The Tigers move the ball real well. Tom, uh, we're in a... When it's time to relax, got the Shop Furniture Center's 33rd anniversary sale for store-wide savings of 10 to 50 percent. Save $100 on this beautiful Johnson Baker multi-pillow back sofa and $70 on the companion love seat. Save $40 on every hooker wall unit in stock. Your choice of four styles. Comparable savings on furniture for every room in your home. The Furniture Center's anniversary sale from your one big happy family for 33 years. Your newspaper tells you more than TV. Like what's going to be on TV. Introducing TV This Week in Sunday's Commercial Appeal. Why don't you spice up your life at Poncho's? Four, three, two. First time of the ball game, Rebels have it first and ten on their own, 22. John Forcade in on quarterback. Hand off to Buford McGee, and he gets up to the 24. Remember the first time he touched the ball two years ago, Bill? I was just thinking about that play. He was going the other way, and he pitched out this side, and he just cut it and went all the way, 58 yards for a touchdown. He didn't have that success in this particular play. There you see the Rebel offensive line, Pat Phoenix, the only returner with any experience. Steve Searfrost, Steve Herring, John Allen. The receivers, Michael Harmon split end, Steve Deary to tight end. Flanker is Breck Tyler. After the gain of two, it's second and eight from the 24. Forcade pitches it back to Malvin Gibson, and he waves his way up to the 30-yard line. Finally up to get him was Mike Evans, the Tiger linebacker, number 40. 
You can see that's one of the things the Vera offense does. He picks his holes, finds where he wants to go. He split them out. We pin we pinched in, tried to contain for K quick, and uh, got the pitch and got him out there one on one on the on the end or the corner back on this side. Eight of seven on the last play. It's now third and one for the Rebels at their own 31. 11 minutes to go in the first quarter. No score. Hand off up the middle. Gibson. He didn't get anywhere. The Tigers jumped in an eight-man front and just flew everybody and gambled, as we uh, talked about, Tommy. They gambled a lot from that defense. They jumped in there, sent everybody after him, and there you see the Tiger defensive lineman, Dwayne Marshall, Greg Montgomery, Cedric Wright, and Michael Cannon. And they, they had to help from those linebackers, too. They stopped him for a loss of one yard on the carry, so it's going to be fourth and two Ole Miss. And Daryl Graham is going to come in the punt for the Rebels. Back deep to receive, waiting at his own 30 there, is Derek Crawford. There is Daryl Graham. 10-17 to go in the first quarter. No score. Penalty markers are down. Fair catch call for by Crawford. He fumbles it, but recovers at his own 31. Well, let's check out the penalty markers. On the offensive line, Bill, usually could be a hold, could be a legal use of hands. We'll just wait and see what they a, call. Be a multitude of things that were thrown by the, the lineman and uh, the head lineman on the side. They, going back, it's a motion against Ole Miss. Declined. And so the 38-yard punt puts the ball on the Tiger 31-yard line where they'll take it over first and 10. No score in the ball game. Tigers came down, missed a 39-yard field goal after a couple of dazzling runs. They have yet to put it into the air. We also didn't see Ole Miss put the ball in the air on the first time. First time they had it. That's so, kind of a surprise, Tom. Big surprise. First and 10, Tiger 32-yard line. Sanders pushes it back to Harrison, sweeping up to the 37-yard line. Kenny Hooper, 38 on the tackle, also up there. Number 50, Lee Cole. Check out the Ole Miss defense right here. The front line, Brian Kennedy, Quentin McDonald, Matthew Lovelady, and James Otis around the front line. Linebackers Kenny Hooper, Thomas Hubbard, and Lee Cole. Hooper, of course, formerly a fullback. The backfield, Melvin Brown, Skip Lane, Johnny Burrow, and Barry Wilborn. On the carry, a gain of four. It's second and six up at the Tiger 36. Tommy Barry Wilborn, the last time he played in this ball game was for the city championship. Played for Melrose High School last year against Southside right here in this stadium. And here he is again starting for Ole Miss, the only freshman on there defensive uh, ball club. Bowers and Knowlton are both split out wide to the right side. Baxton and I. Give is to Harrison. A quick opener and he has looks like enough for the first down up to the Tiger 42. James Otis defensive right end number 84. A 6'4", 200 pound junior made the stop. We've got nine minutes 42 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Carl Harrison on the season. He has carried the ball sparingly, averaging 3.2 yards on his carries. On that carry, Harrison has now carried the ball 13 time, uh, five times for 13 yards. After a gain of five, call it third and one, and Derek Sanders calls another timeout. We'll take a timeout with nine minutes, nine minutes, 22 seconds. Let's talk things over here, Bill, on the ball game. And let's see what is going to happen. Uh, it looked like that time, with two men split out to one side, the wide side of the field, it looked like Memphis State might have want to put it into the air. Well, you know, you're the, the third and short, you're going to try to go for that, you know, that one and get that first down in this situation. They've had success coming this way, going behind behind their offensive line of, of uh, Cardhuff and Nelson in the tight end over here. They've, that's where they've had the success, you know, in the first series. I look for him to come back to this side with that, trying to run against uh, uh, the strong James Otis on the other side, you know, one of the strong defensive ends. I think they're going to try to stay away from him. Greg Sanders, this year passing department. He has completed 11 of his six, six passes this year. 9.22 left to go in the first quarter. 
three men in the backfield to give us to the last man through. Harrison, he has the first down and then some up across the Tiger 45. Looks like it's up to about the 48. They were just trying to get one, Bill, and they That's got a right. little bonus on that one. Thomas Hubbard finally made the stop. Good story behind this youngster. Walk on from Crescent High School, a little kid. He just gives it all he's got every time and uh, just uh, worked his way right into this starting lineup. First and 10 Tigers, the ball on their own 47. Mike Dion dives over the line, and he is into Ole Miss territory before Kenny Hooper stopped him. Kenny Hooper, last year, number 38 for the Rebels, their leading ground gainer, over 600 yards. Of course, he had the big play that opened the floodgates in Ole Miss's big win uh, last year, the fake uh, punt. Right. That uh, set up the 61-7 win. And that's another story there, too. Kenny Hooper has played for Louis Alford, the running back coach for Memphis State at Bradley Central when he was in high school. On second and five, Harrison has running room on the right side, and he is inside the 45, down to the 43. Melvin Brown, cornerback, made the stop. And right now, Bill, it takes a look. Uh, take a look right now at the Ole Miss linebackers. Let's see if we can find out why the Tigers were able to run so well. well they're coming this side. They're, they've had the success coming this way. Uh, the linebackers playing a little off. Uh, running run to, the, run to, the, to the strong side and the tight end. Uh, Doing a good job blocking over here. Well, good counter motion on the offensive play, too. Looks like they caught the linebackers over pursuing a little bit. Well, the last two plays that came out, the Tigers have come out and played the split back uh, offense. They've been in the eye, which is a little different uh, than looked than they've had all year, and, and they split it up then. It's four, it's uh, all, looks like Tommy maybe about a foot to go for first down. So the Tigers going for another third down conversion right here. Eight minutes, 18 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Still no score in the ball game. But folks, we're going to play this one down the middle, but so far this ball game has been all Memphis State on offense. Third and one at the Rebel 43. Keeping it, Sanders, penalty markers down. If they spot the ball where he landed, I think they may have the first down. Tommy, there's a penalty over here. I think it was uh, somebody in the in the blue shirts moved before the ball. Uh, no, offside. Offside. offside against Ole Miss. Offside against Ole Miss. Uh, Let's take a look right here. Let's see what we can find. Uh, the offside. That would mean that uh, you can see. I think the near side, 66 Kennedy, right. was lined up across the line of scrimmage, and that was the offside. Tommy, I mean, we showed them a lot of things on offense. We lined up in the power eye then. Uh, uh, Rex has got him mixed up, and I'm sure that uh, he knows Steve. Steve knows the offense as well as he does. He's trying to do something different for him. First and ten. The give is to Tony Wiley, and he is inside the 35. Kenny Hooper again on the stop. Uh, Lee Cole, the other linebacker, coming over to help him on the play. Tony Wiley, a good story. He had the he has scored the only points that Memphis State has ever scored at Hemingway Stadium in Oxford. He had that brilliant long run. And the, the lone touchdown for the Rebels, uh, for the Tigers against the Rebels last year. Gain of four on the last carry for Wiley at second and six. Pitch back this time goes to Harrison. He bangs his way down to the 29 yard line. Thomas Hubbard and Kenny Hooper makes the stop. Carl Harrison. Uh, he sort of came out of nowhere to become a starter for the Tigers in the third game. The coach just said, he, you know, you couldn't forget him. Uh, he was a walk-on, came out. He just kept plugging away, plugging away, looking better and better every practice, and now I'm starting a big ball game. A third and one from the 29-yard line. Harrison stacked up up the middle. He may have fell forward for enough. They had to get to the 28-yard line for the first down. James Otis, 84, 38, Kenny Hooper makes a stop. Hooper is active in there as a linebacker. Capacity crowd here tonight. Could be one of the largest crowds in Memphis State, Ole Miss history here at the Liberty Bowl. 6.55 remaining to be played here in the first quarter. We've got no score. The Tigers, if we had a chance to check uh, on the possession statistics, have had the ball probably as four or five times to one as far as on the clock. That is the first down for the Tigers. Tommy getting those first downs by inches, too. That's the second or third one we've got on the measurement. Uh, those things are, are, are going uh, going for you. Ole Miss, uh, here's where they dug in a while ago, and this is in the area where Memphis State in the first two ball games have had trouble moving the ball. Tigers have it first and ten at the Rebel 30, uh, 
48 yard line. Sanders keeping, pitching it back to Harrison. He cuts back in and gets down to the 22 yard line. Keith Forcade, number 58, John's brother, who's a linebacker, gets in on the stop along with Quentin McDonald, number 25, Carl Harrison. So far in the ball game, he's got 10 carries for 35 yards. Look at that cutback. Got him a couple of extra. Gain of six, it's second and four. Give Mike Dion slanting to the right side. He is down to the 17-yard line. Thomas Hubbard, Lee Cole finally putting the stop to him. Looks like possibly another Tiger first down, but they are probably going to measure it. The Tiger fans down below us, Bill, are really fired up. They sure are. And of course, Memphis State in this drive, as they have in the ballgame, they've got Mike Dion, who was a, he's coming out of the ballgame now, but he was a walk-on fullback, and Carl Harrison a walk-on. He's playing tailback in a crucial ball game, packed house, Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Gain of six on the play. It'll be first and ten for those Tigers at the Rebels 17-yard line. They missed one field goal. They're knocking on the door again. Sanders gives to Wiley, and he bumps his way to about the 15, 14-yard line. Great success with the misdirection. Kenny Hooper, to, Kenny Hooper and Thomas Hubbard. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop. They run in the misdirection now, coming back and just going right behind the big center, Ken DeFeo. Uh, it's at the 14 after the gain of three, second and seven. Wiley gets down to the 10-yard line. Left tackle Quentin McDonald finally wrestled him down to the ground after a gain of four yards. Take a look from the end zone. Who missed him in the backfield? Memphis State offensive line, Tom. The middle of that line is coming off tremendously. They're firing off the ball to Gleason, DeFeo, and Dorian right down the middle. Last few yards is just a been a tremendous charge quickness they're outweighed up front but doing a good job coming off the ball gain of five total yards Memphis State's got 86 yards to Ole Miss's eight that is Mike number 21 Eric Beckton the flanker the freshman flanker Eric Beckton he has it down to the Rebel five yard line right out of Northside High School best running back in this area last year came to Memphis State big break for him he's they played him everywhere they could in that backfield and he's done a good job at every place he's played gain of five it's first and goal Tigers from the five Mike Dion disappears under a sea of white at about the three Tom this is a very important drive for the Tigers to to score we they have not been able to, to put any points on the board uh, in the touchdown department and to go down the first time miss the field goal come back this time you they have to score or you know mentally you you get to thinking you can't score Dion four carries 37 yards second and goal from the three it's Beckton breaks a tackle he's hit at the five and loses the ball it's out of bounds no it's all missed football at the, the 10 yard line Coming away with the football, left end, Brian Kennedy, number 66. The freshman, Eric Beckton, breaks to, a tackle. Tried to scramble and get outside. He was trapped and tried to scramble, get away. Uh, digging for the yardage, got hit right here. The ball pops out. Looked like it was going to go out of bounds. It never did, and Ole Miss very alertly covered the ball to take over and stop, stop the drive. Man to make the hit was number 27, Barry Wilburn. The Rebels recover at their own nine-yard line, first and ten, and a heartbreaking drive for the Tigers. Now the Tiger defense responds, pushing at Buford McGee back just about to the stands. That's Buford and... And we said a while ago, Tommy, two years ago, he had a little more productive uh, night that he's had than those two runs he's carried about tonight. Uh, one fifth of his yardage was total yards was made that one game two years ago. 
He hasn't been able to get outside yet. Forcade this year has thrown for 264 yards, but he's going to keep it on the option. Forcade, first time he's carried it, runs out of bound at the 10-yard line for a gain of one. Marvin Chapman, number two, is over there to force him out of bounds. Take a look. Every time Fort Cates touched the football this year, he's averaged 4.9 yards a carry. But watch him string, watch the Tigers string it out. That's uncharacteristic of John Fort Cade. Uh, he Evidently, his shoulder is hurt more than this reported because normally he would turn it up and challenge that cornerback coming up. They're going to call it no gain. Third and 10 Rebels from their own nine yard line. Fort Cade going to go to the air. Plenty of time. Incomplete. Intended the receiver at the 20-yard line was the split end James Harbor, number 25. The Tiger defense holds. The Tiger fans down below us are all fired up. And the players are all fired up. But the uh, story in this ballgame, though, Bill, is the fact that Memphis State has had two offensive opportunities to score and have come away empty. There's no score on the board with 2.48 left to go in the first quarter. Daryl Graham will be... Okay, first and 10, Tigers ball at their own 48-yard line. Two plays after the punt. On the carry, Richard Williams, 32, stopped by 80, Andre Townsend. Loss of uh, about a yard on the carry for Richard Williams. That's the first time he's been in the ball game. Early second down and 11 for the Tigers. 2-11 to go in the first quarter. We apologize, we missed a couple of plays because we had a power failure and the power supply to our truck down below the stands. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Second 11, Tigers at their own 47. Tigers running against the Rebels 4-3 defense. It was strong left, the defense was, and the Tigers took it right at the strength of the defense that time and, and gained a few yardage. That was Tony Wiley, number 20, on the carry stop by 50. Lee Cole of the Rebels. We're down to a minute 37 for the first quarter. First down department, Memphis State's got seven. Ole Miss has yet to get a first down in the ballgame. Tigers on the march right now. Third and three at the Rebel 45. Pumping into the line, Mike Dion reverses his direction and gets some yardage out of what looked to be nothing. And possibly a first down, Tommy. Uh, just a second, third effort, Mike Dion. Young man who has, has no speed. <laughs> just got back and got after. Look at here, he puts his head down and just challenges that halfback. Got the first down. Another first down for the Tiger. That is their eighth first down in the ball game. Minute four to go in the first quarter. Once again, the Tigers are in Ole Miss territory. Third time they've been here in the first quarter, but there's still no score on the scoreboard. First and 10. Sanders wants to put it up to the short man overthrowing Harrison at the 43. That time the pressure was coming on. And he just tried to unload it to his outlet, man. So that'll bring up a second down and 10 situation. First time the Tigers go to the air, come up empty. No score. Ole Miss and Memphis State. This ball game so far has been all Tigers. But they have nothing to show for it on the scoreboard. Second and 10. Sanders. With time, decides to run it, cuts back through the line and gets down to the 36. Brian Kennedy, 66 on the stop. Also, when they're getting off the pile, you see number 37, Thomas Hubbard, the wide side linebacker. Greg Sanders. Looks like he was looking for the, the back out of the backfield out to the right side. Wasn't open, but Greg again took the ball under his arm up the field and challenged for that yardage and that first down. To Brings up a third, third and, and long. Third and five. Sort of a tweener play. Almost long. Sanders off the play action. Completes it at the 30-yard line. Here's a first down. Enough for a first down. It's complete at the 30-yard line. On the catch, Ray, Ray Brown is listed. 81. Made a great catch. Concentration. Eyes on the ball. Stayed right with it all the way. Ray Brown, the superb freshman from Marion. The first quarter is history. At the end of the first quarter, the score, Memphis State nothing and Ole Miss nothing. 
We'll be back for action coming up in the second quarter right after this. A million classified ads last year, about 5,000 calls a week. Why so many? Because classified ads work. Read all about it. Here we go. Time runs at a on other mattresses, furniture, and appliances. The Furniture Center's anniversary sale from your one big happy family for 33 years. I belong to Daddy. Yes, I simply couldn't be bad. Yes, my heart belongs to Daddy. da 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 Ready now for the first play of the second quarter. Tigers have it first and 10 at the Rebel 30-yard line. Handoff goes to Wiley. He follows his blocking inside the Rebel 25 down to the 23-yard line. Leading the blocking left guard Doug Gleason, 61. Finally making the tackle, 37, Thomas Hubbard. Thomas. Look at 61. Right, as we said earlier, they're having more success going that way behind uh, uh, Dorian and... De Ken DeFeo, the center DeFeo there. DeFeo in the center, and, and Gleason, they're doing a great job of coming off the ball. Uh, Gain of six, second and four from the 24-yard line. Hurling his way down to the 20-yard line. That's close first down again. They're getting down there. Number 80, Andre Townsend, finally putting a stop. Take a look as the handoff goes to 32 Richard Williams you can see Rex Dockery is shuttling those running backs in and out of the ball game that makes it third and about an inch and a half and officially the 21 yard line but you can see the nose of the ball just about on the 20 you take a look now from the rebel defensive backfield third and one from the 20 Sanders keeps has the first down there again, he just kept the ball, went in behind Dorian and Cardiff on the right side and picked up that first down. A little while ago, we had a, a statistic that had the Tigers with 86 yards of total offense to eight for Ole Miss. It's got to be well over 100 to eight right now. And that, folks, would really show you what kind of a ball game it has been so far. Tigers have moved this Rebel defense up and down the field. Right now, it is 124 to eight in total offense for these two ball clubs. Memphis State with 124. First and 10 from the Rebel 19. Mike Dion finally grabbed down by the ankles at the 16-yard line. Kenny Hooper finally on the tackle. Mike Dion, he's got about as much speed as I used to have, and I have even less now. But he makes up for the rest of it in heart. I was going to say, Tommy, big heart, little man, big heart. He never gives up. He hits you in there with every ounce of weight he has. And good play, good tackle by Kenny Hooper there transferred running back uh, one of their leading gainers last year now a linebacker doing a great job for him been out uh, back in the ball game wasn't expected to play tonight there is timeout on the field with 12.55 remaining in the second quarter the score Memphis State nothing and Ole Miss nothing when we were first married the biggest problem we had was trying to buy furniture we hadn't established a credit rating and we certainly couldn't afford to pay cash but there was one place in town that helped us out Furniture Center. We were able to buy all our furniture and appliances on their first step credit plan without a cosigner. At Furniture Center, we took the first step towards building our credit. And that's a first step toward the future. Furniture Center, where young adults take the first step toward credit.
How's your favorite high school team doing? Where are the best places to go fishing or hunting? We tell you in the sports pages of the press Presseometer, read them. Tom Stalker and Bill Todd back at the Liberty Bowl. Take a look at that, Bill, right there. That tells the story of the ball game. Sure does. 12-04 to 256. And, the, and when Ole Miss had the ball, the 256, they were deep in their own territory. 12.55 to go in the second quarter. We pick it up, second and seven. The ball on the Rebels' 16-yard line. Mike Dean right now has got six carries for 43 yards. Split backfield this time. Sanders rolling. Completes it to Dion at the 10. And he is down at the 8-yard line. Over to make the stop. Melvin Brown, the quarterback, number Tommy. 21. What a great game this little Mike Dion Tommy, is having tonight. Tommy, that's an old Ole Miss bread and butter play from years past. That full back in that flat and just roll at him and put the pressure on the corner people and make them do something. Dion wide open. Hit him for the for the big gain and down close to the first down. So far in the ball game, the Tigers have got 11 first downs. That's a penalty. Tommy didn't see the flag. It was a penalty against Ole Miss. I didn't see what the signal was. Yeah, that penalty marker was way back in the Memphis State backfield. The ball is spotted right now exactly. on the Rebel 8. And move it back half the distance. A personal foul against the Rebels. First down, Tigers, first and goal. The ball at the four-yard line. It has been all Memphis State in the ball game tonight, folks. First downs, Memphis State has 11, Ole Miss zip. And how about that to the team that has featured the leading total offense performer in the SEC the last two years in John Forte. First and goal from the four. Tigers looking for their first touchdown. Up the middle, Carl Harrison gets to the three. Hitting hard in the meat of that Ole Miss defense that came to the right side. Quentin uh, McDonald and, and Brian Kennedy uh, tough defense in there. Tough part of the field to score on Carl Harrison. Little man that he is just gave it all he's got banging in there. Just to gain a yard. It is second and goal now from the three. Again, Memphis State looking for touchdown number one. They're in the old missed end of the Liberty Bowl, though. The band is down there, and so are most of their fans. Pitch back. This is Harrison. Breaks a tackle at the five, and he is stopped at the five-yard line. First man to hit him was right end James Otis, 84. So there'll be a loss on the play of a couple of yards. 11.52 to go in the first half. No score in the ballgame. Ole Miss doing a great job penetrating the, uh, up in the goal line defense. They've got a lot of people on the line in the gaps and just blowing those corners and not going to let you get outside. Carl Harrison in the ballgame right now has carried the ball 13 times for 47 yards. Third and goal from the five for the Tigers. They have been deep in Ole Miss territory twice. Mike Dion, nothing to the four, maybe. Kenny Hooper hit him, 38. Also up there, 48, Carl Lewis, defensive right end. So it'll be fourth down and goal from the four. And for the second time of the ball game, Ken House, number 17, is going to try a field goal. This one's going to be shorter than the 29-yarder he missed earlier. Right, he's kicking with the wind now. The first one, he was kicking against the wind. Uh, wind's out of the south, pretty strong wind, and uh, ought to be a chip shot for him. You see, he's made just one field goal, and it's been from this distance. It'll come from the 11-yard line, a 21-yarder. Now the official comes in, and they're going to chalk off five against the Tigers, and that's not unexpected when you're that deep in somebody else's territory, Bill. Might be an advantage for him. It gets you back, give you a better angle to kick it. Eh? He was down his hash marks on the left side of the field, and this gives you a little better angle to kick. They may intentionally got that penalty to, to move him back and give him a better shot at it. Again, that stat on House was coming into the ball game tonight. He has already missed a 29-yarder earlier. The Tigers certainly don't want to come away empty this time. Doing the snap is 60 Phil Sutherland. The placement, the boot is up, and it is good. The Tigers are on the scoreboard. We've got 10 minutes and 34 seconds left to go in the first half. The score, Memphis State 3, and Ole Miss nothing. Prep sports scores, we have them first in the commercial field, and we have more of them. Read the scoreboard daily.
was this argument in football about who's smarter, the offense or defense? Well, defense had to be smarter to react to flip-flops and flea flickers. Then we drink the best-tasting beer, light beer from Miller. We drink light, too. It's got a third less calories than the regular beer, and it's less filling. But we had to be smarter to react to the Red Dogs and close it. <laughs> okay, Billy. The flanker does it down and out, the weak side linebacker blitzes. What's the nose guard do, huh? Huh? I don't know. Defense rests. <laughs> Like beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. You get more from the Furniture Center. Quality, selection, decorator service, and credit plans. Welcome to our family. You're the finest, and in the finest company. You're the best, and in the best of families. Oh, you're the finest, and in the finest Discover what's in store for you at the Furniture Center. And so for the third straight game, the Tigers are not going to be shut out. They scored three against Mississippi State. They scored five against Florida State. Right now they've got a 3-0 lead on the Ole Miss Rebels with 10.34 left to go in the first half. Stan Weaver, number three, will come in and kick the ball away for the Tigers. But psychologically, Bill, Tigers had once again deep in Ole Miss territory and came away with at least three points, but they've been down deep in there three times. Been there three times and uh, were able to get the, the one field goal, but they are ahead three nothing, and, and they got the wind behind them and kicking now. The, uh, Weaver has that ability to put that ball in the end zone. So far the ball game, all Memphis State as Weaver kicks it near side. Malvin Gibson fumbles it, picks it up at the 10. He is hit at the 10 and swarmed over at the 10 yard line. The fans here at the Liberty Bowl, Bill Todd, getting a perfect example of what I have seen on the road with the Tigers the last two weeks at Tiger Defense. Watch the Tiger up Defense. Again. Tommy, they're right at the point of the ball at all times. There's four, five, six of them gang tackling at tremendous enthusiasm. Uh, haven't seen a college football team play with this much enthusiasm in many years. They just, everybody's after him. Look at him. They keep coming. Rebels will pick it up first and 10 from their own 10-yard line. 10.29 to go in the first half, trailing 3-0. McGee and Thomas, the men in the backfield behind 4K. It's Thomas on the carry. He's got a hole, spins his way up to the 20-yard line, and close enough for a first down. Marvin Chapman, number two, up finally to make the stop. He didn't have a big hole there, but he got through. And, and got enough. Took it right at the middle. Uh, Memphis State's playing the 4 3 or the 4 uh, 4 defense and took it right at the, the weak part of the defense, so right at the linebacker that you are can, off the ball. You can see how John Fort Cade is closing in on Archie Manning's total offense record at Ole Miss. It's a second and short, second and a couple of inches. Hand off to Thomas. He breaks the tackle and gets up to the 22. Cedric Wright hit him in the backfield but couldn't hold on to his shoelaces and it's the first first down in the ball game for the Ole Miss Rebels. If you would have told me, Bill, that it would be some six minutes into the second quarter before Ole Miss would get its first first down, I would have sent you off to the you know where. Tom, I think field position had something to do with it, but we, uh, I totally expected a 4K to go long early in the ball game and test the Tigers' uh, safeties. First and 10 from the Rebel 23-yard line. Forcade looks to throw, going long near side, overthrowing his intended receiver, Michael Harmon, the split end at the 35-yard line. Total yards so far in the ball game. The Memphis State Tigers with 143 to the Rebels, 20 yards in total offense. Tommy, and, watch, and watching the Tigers early, it looks like they're playing the, their safeties a little deeper than they've been playing all year. They got them off the ball about 15 yards, and of course, expecting the pass, looking for 4K to drill that one. And again, the Tigers keeping eight men really up close to that offensive line. It's second and 10. Handoff, Buford McGee stood up by Evans and dropped at the 27. After a gain of four yards, it'll be third and six. And the three Ole Miss possessions so far, they have taken the ball over on their own 22, their own nine, and their own 11-yard line. You talk about field position, Bill, there it was. They're trying to get it out, uh, open the game up a little bit, and uh, third and, and long, third and six, a long six. 4K doesn't like to set up the call timeout. 
All right, we've got a timeout on the field with 8.51 left to go in the second quarter. The score is Memphis State 3 and Ole Miss nothing. I can tell a real cowboy from the drugstore kind, clean across Texas. The way he wears his hat will tell you, and the beer that you drink is a sure far giveaway to you. A lot of us drink light beer from Miller. We love the taste, but we surely appreciate that it's got a third less calories than the regular kind. You see, you don't want to be filled up when you're out there punching doggies. Ain't that right, cowboy? I didn't punch that doggy. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Shop Furniture Center's 33rd anniversary sale for store-wide savings of 10 to 50 percent. Save $250 on the introduction of Huntley's Luminations, eight-piece dining room set by Thomasville, with cane-back chairs and lighted china cabinet. Save $150 on the new Huntley Luminations king-size bedroom group, a great introductory value. Comparable savings on other brand-name bedroom and dining room groups. The Furniture Center's anniversary sale from your one big happy family for 33 years. Why don't you spice up your life at Poncho's? paper tells you more than TV, like what's going to be on TV. Introducing TV This Week in Sunday's Commercial Appeal. It is third down and six yards to go for the Rebels at their own 27-yard line. Orcade looks to throw up over the middle. And